So I've stated in the past that fighters aren't really scared of other fighters, even though they may feel and usually do feel a healthy amount of fear going into the ring with someone else. That being said, Hamza Shiraz is scared, deathly afraid of Janibek Alim Khanala. Please don't murder me in the comments for butchering his name. Dork. And that's not a contradiction. And if you think it is, well, let's just call it a language barrier. Or as I like to say, a tenuous grasp on the English language. On your part. So yeah, he's scared. Shitless. Well, the Danny back at Wembley Stadium. Just your reflections a bit of times past. Nobody cares about the Tyler Denny fight. Uh, how would you take it all in and look man? Yeah, no, listen, it was a great fight. Good build up, great card to be on. Exposure. Right, he thinks that was a great fight. This is this is the level he wants to be at. It was like the most I've ever had in a fight. Uh, and I delivered the goods. I think that was the most important thing, delivering on a platform like that. I knew that I'd beat him. I knew that I'd beat him. Um, everyone was saying that oh, he, he's the... Hamza Shiraz is in the building stage. He's a prospect, and that's okay. Is he upset, King? Yeah, he was, but I think the caliber of my of his opponents and me are totally different. But nothing but massive respect to to Tyler and whatnot. He'll come again. Um, but yeah, that's done now. That's passed. He's on a completely different level, but it was a great fight. Okay, that's a contradiction. To me and now I'm just all eyes on winning world titles. Winning world titles. Obviously, you've been ordered to face Johnny Beck. For whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, I was taking a sip of my coffee. Almost. Spit it out. Okay. Now here's another contradiction. He's <laughs> not blatant, but look. And this interview was full of them. Or just the same one repeated over and over. This dude is inco fucking here. <sighs> You don't go from fucking Tyler Denny to a title shot, right? Or even Emma Williams. Nah, that's shaky. If you're going to be a prospect building yourself, stay the fuck away from titles. Okay? Don't tie up an already that has potential, good amount of potential, but as things stand right now, a dead fucking division. Are you going to pursue that route? Uh, why not? Why not? Now I'm just all eyes on winning world titles. Winning world titles after you've been ordered to face Janny Beck for the WBO title. Uh oh. Look at his reaction. It tells you everything you need to know. Well, are you going to pursue that route? Uh, it Touching his face because he's nervous. Looks a little bit wibbly wobbly and Janny Beck hasn't even hit him yet. Why not? Why not? I'd be a fool to say otherwise. Um... <laughs> I have to keep up appearances. This is pretense. That's what he's saying, right? I can't tell you the truth. I'd be an idiot to tell you the truth. It's all down to my advisors, my promoters. Oh, right? there it is. Hiding behind mama's skirt. And I feel like, I don't feel like I know I've got the best team in place. And I've given the impression, I feel like I've given the impression I'll fight any. Bitch, nobody gives a fuck about impressions. Fake. Facade. Nobody gives a fuck about, not, not real casual boxing fans like myself, right? The, the corny, dorky, Hardcore dweeby boxing fans, yeah, they probably give a shit about what things look like, not what they really are, right? I've given the impression. Fuck your impression. You're not impressive. It doesn't matter. I mean, okay, fair enough. Sure it does. It's image is everything, right? 
images. That, I get it. It's it's not what you actually have accomplished. It's what accolades, accolades they want to bestow upon you, whether you deserve them or not. If you're getting them, right, you got them. So, yeah, I get it. But really, honestly, and truly, insofar as truth is concerned, nobody gives a fuck about impressions. What's actually true? Anyone now. Whoever they put in front of me, I'll go in the ring and then we'll get cracking. Um, so, yeah, whatever they advise me to do, I'll do exactly You'll get cracked. He's hiding behind his promotional team, his advisors. He's He doesn't want to fight. He's scared shitless. If I was to advise you to go a different route, so for example, I've heard Denzel Bentley rumors come back up again. I asked Frank. <laughs> I'm looking at world titles, right? Denzel Bentley. <laughs> what, what, what world title are you going to win against Denzel Bentley? An, an email title? about that and Frank mentioned he's WBO number two would that be a fight which would be taken ahead of a Johnny Big fight and would you see that as a bit of a maybe, oh great so a final eliminator all right be a backward step almost because even though Denzel's highly ranked with WBO you've got a chance to actually fight for the title in your next one like I said it'd be it'd be it'd be silly it would be silly but if the team advised but I'll do it I'd be a fool to blah, 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 blah. But I'll do it if mama says I should. Is it? Then I don't go, I won't go, I won't go against them. But as a fighter, you want the best opportunities. Do you know what I mean? I'd be, it'd be like I said. It- oh my God. He's measuring his words so carefully. Shut up. Just tell the truth, bro. It'd be silly. But yeah, let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. Um, I think the WBC is going to mandate soon as well. So. The opportunities there are endless. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 not, not the WBO round. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm going to stay away from Johnny Beck and call myself a champion if I beat some bum for some vacant interim, whatever the hell title. And it's a great position to be in because you get to almost call the shots. And I'm not, I haven't won, won a world title yet. And I'm here sitting in a position where I can kind of. You see? You see what this dude be about? He wants to call shots. He's a shot caller, right? He's not a real fighter. Choose what world title I want to fight for. So, so let's let's see what. Happens. He just told you. He just literally told you, not literally, but almost. That he's a cherry picker. He's gonna he's gonna cherry pick, right? Where's all the Hamza fans? You guys are so tough, right? When the Jani bum, as you say, fight isn't even on the horizon, right? It, it's it's not even a consideration, really. Some people somewhere are mentioning it. He's going to kill Johnny Bum. He's going to destroy him when, when the reality hits, bites, when the fight becomes, well, potentially his next, if he wants it, his next one. You're hiding behind Mama's skirt too. Where's all that trash dog? And I like it, so give it to me. Where is it? No wonder you fans of this guy. Happens. Um, Johnny Beck obviously recently fought himself, got a late stoppage. What did you- I like this interviewer? He, he won't relent. What did you make of his performance? Uh, he was playing with his food, he was playing with his food, um, he was having fun in there. Uh, or- baiting Johnny Beck is baiting these dudes to fight him, and they see it, they're not biting. What's the guy's name who he fought? Uh, Mikhailovich, he wasn't on his level, he wasn't on his level, it was as simple as that. He done what he had to do and got him out of there. And- um, yeah, well done. You're not either. Done to him. Did you still see weaknesses? Well, obviously, a lot of people question. Maybe I know you're saying play with his food. A lot of people felt that as well on the night, but uh, well, in the morning for us rather. But did you look at it and think that he was slowing down in those later rounds, and maybe that's something which you could capitalise on if the fight was agreed? Yeah, I mean, you'd, any any fight I watch, I watch, no matter what weight it is, I always have have the mentality going, how could I beat them? How could I exploit a certain thing? So it's almost second nature me to do that. And yeah, I definitely, definitely saw a lot of things that I could potentially ex- uh, exploit as long as I get the opportunity, yeah. You're my Christian. Uh, you did get, to, uh, you have the opportunity. It's right in front of you. What are you talking about? I mean, uh, look, uh, let's just keep it real, man. 
No offense to anybody out there, but this fucking dude puts product in his hair. And he's not a cholo, so come on. Chris Eubank Jr. returns on Saturday night as well, yeah. Um, do you believe... Oh, yeah, that, that excites him. That fight excites him. Yeah. He, want, he wants him some U-bum. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, fans. Pay me. A fight between the two of you will ever materialize? Uh, fuck you, casual fans like myself, right? The hardcore dweebs? I mean, don't be all for fucking this guy. And look... That's fine. No problem. If he, if we're just going to be, well, I'll save it for the end. I think it will. And if you ask me this without the, the, His Excellency's backing, I'd say no, no chance. No chance. But it. He's confident about the U bomb fight happening. But Janibek, it's mandated, bro. All you got to do is just agree. He's a man who makes it happen. He's a man who makes it happen. And I feel like he's getting a liking for this fight. Public are, are demanding it. Every time they do an interview with Chris, my name's mentioned, and he don't know where to look. Um, he acts like he, ain't, he didn't watch my last fight when he was there ringside. Um, wait, 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 wait. So you mean to tell me his fans who talk so much shit aren't demanding he fight Johnny Beck? Oh. I mean, you guys aren't even getting in the ring. What the fuck are you scared of? No wonder you fans of this one. But yeah, it's an interesting one how he's playing his cards. It's an interesting one, but um, we'll definitely get in the ring. I mean, he's saying that he values himself at more than that £5 million pound offer that Frank made public. That's his level right now. He's admitting. This is his level right now. Old past his prime. Uh, maybe shot. Little. You bank. Do you think that he's outpricing himself for a fight with yourself? European level in his prime, Eubank. You could say so. You could say so. But then his, ex his excellency and the team will turn around and give him what he's off, what he wants. And then what's he going to do? What, what, you you got to accept the fight that way then. Right. So excellency doesn't want you versus Janibek? Or are you just going to turn down the biggest payday of your, of your career to not fight him? If he doesn't end, then it's just like it's dead in the water after that. But yeah, um, I think he's playing his cards from a business point of view. I don't blame him. Fair enough. <laughs> Projection. <laughs> I like that. I actually like that about him. Well, no shit. Happy days. He wants to maximize his last few years in the sport. But I think. Yeah, you too. You want to maximize your last few years in the sport. Okay, because, look, let's just keep it real. A bum with a punch and a little bit of luck could end this guy's dreams. A fight with me is would definitely make sense. I have to ask as well, Hamza, I've seen that you was offered the Canelo fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell me about that? Uh, very random, very random. Um, but we, myself and Frank didn't even have to have this discussion. I let him run, run with what he said because... I'll back what he said. Uh, too soon, yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's why his plan was to try and catch you now because there's a lot of kind of hype building around your name. No, I don't know. I'm surprised he even knew who I was, to be fair, bro, um, in all honesty. Uh, but two years from now, you heard it. Uh, Chiraz versus Canelo is a very, very high possibility. No comment. Just no fucking comment. The guy won't even take a Canelo payday right now. <laughs> Come on, man. I need to not look ahead, but that's a long-term goal of mine. Long-term goal of mine to win a few titles at 160, potentially unify, and then go up to 168. Sure. Mm, few titles, just not the WBO, huh? Guys versus Canelo, not the other way around. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Crazy, bro. It's like, even just saying it like that. But yeah, Max, a huge respect to him. He's one of one of my idols. I've said it before. Him and him and Andy Joshua, one, two, two of my idols in the sport. Thumbs up, appreciate it. Iron Chin and Anchini. Mm -hmm. They're his idols. Oh, it has nothing to do with the chin. It's all about the cha ching, obviously. Mm. So this is what I was going to say. Look, there, there's nothing wrong with building a prospect, uh, getting Hamza experience. He does have talent. Um, he's probably weak at this weight. 
you're probably gonna see him at his best at you know 175 physically right but he may not have what it takes to even really get there and while remaining at, at a certain level but you know time will tell he definitely has talent and there's some good ability there he does some things really well but i mean he's got huge holes in this game and he's chinny as fuck um i mean just th does his jaw inspire confidence right look at his jaw he's got that amir khan jaw anyway um yeah there's nothing wrong with bringing the fighter up the right way right but that takes, well, potentially years, and you stay the fuck away from them titles, bitch. All right? Because once you start mentioning titles, you got to unify if you, if you ever get a sniff of this or that title. You got you to gotta start unifying or fight anybody that has a title. Don't, don't be cherry-picking titles. That's bitch-made. Because he's going to cherry pick a title and then hold up the division or vacate, move up. So he could call himself a fucking middleweight champion. Just like Roy Jones Jr. Everyone calls the fucking guy a light heavyweight champion. He was never champion at light heavyweight. Never. He had all the titles, but he was never champion. Anyway, maybe, maybe that's. For another video look don't you, you could be a prospect building yourself building up your name you could do all of that stay the fuck away from title eliminators don't pay any fucking sanctioning fees don't don't be getting ranked by any of these sanctioning bodies stay the fuck away from all the titles anything that has anything to do with any title okay stay the fuck away from all that shit Unless you're willing to fight anybody for any title and unify any and or all of them, fuck off. It's just going to be another one of them holding up the fucking division because, you know, he's a shot caller. <laughs> he's not a real fighter. He wants to be a shot caller, a moneymaker. And that'd be fine, too. Just stop fucking lying. Tell the truth. Just be like, yo, Johnny Mac right now, I'm not ready for you. Don't, you don't got to tell me what I already know, that it puts you in a coma. You don't got to tell me that. Just say you're not ready. He's a little bit too good for me right now, okay? I'm, I'm going to swerve that guy and build my profile and build up my skills, work on these huge fucking holes I got in my game. And once I'm ready... Then, then I'll fight for a title, whatever division that may be, all right? Don't be all contradicting yourself, fucking incoherent, acting like you're a world champion or a title contender, refusing to contend for titles. Once you step up to the title picture, there's no more fucking cherry picking. Unless, obviously, you're a hardcore boxing fan and... You accept that. So where are you guys? You, you know, I very much enjoy the back and forth. All of you Hamza Shiraz fangirls. Where you at? Cat got your tongue? Man, go on. Go on. Keep hiding behind mama's skirt. Shut up. So annoying, man. This, this middleweight division, contrary to popular belief, right? And this is me putting faith in this guy, too. Some faith. I think he could give good fights. This middleweight division has more talent than people care to admit. They're just not making the fights. Because once you make the fights, right, you build these guys properly. If they fight one another and all of them get in the mix, including you, bum, right? They're just going to get better. The division is going to be more exciting. It's going to have better fighters in it. That's all that it takes. The average boxing fan can't tell talent from skill, from ability, from, from they, they can't really identify that. Especially the hardcores. 
They can't really identify that shit. So to them, if a division is exciting, it's a good division. And in reality, that's also true. We don't need like the highest skill level in any, any particular division for the division to be to be great. We just need to fight. That's all we need. But um Yeah, I, I think that's the problem with boxing. Too many fucking hardcore fanboys. <laughs> <laughs>